so welcome to this um autocad series okay so in this series i'm hoping to be able to teach you most of the things you can be doing with autocad server 3d and um so i am using 2019 as you can see here autodesk server 3d 2019 it doesn't really matter which version you use because um most of the interface or the interface is generally going to be similar you don't really see any major difference unless um, there's something specific you're looking for all right so i'm sure yours is almost like this if you're using the same version all right okay so we'll go ahead in this video i'm just going to introduce you to the interface of the software okay then in the subsequent videos we can take them one after the other working on the tools and working on various um, um, topics all right so um one thing you want to know about AutoCAD is it's a software that is being used by many engineers, not just engineers, many people in different works of life. Now, this is Civil 3D, okay, so most of the times you see that it's dramatic engineers, civil engineers, and, and similar um, um, people who use it, okay. All right, so now let's go on. This is the general interface for um, Civil 3D Auto, um, AutoCAD. And up here you have the standard toolbar, okay, so... Um, these are general tools for manipulating the software in its, I mean the file in itself. Okay, so whatever file you're working with, I have not saved my file yet, so it's automatically labeled drawing one. That's what it will label it as. So these are the standard tools. Okay, um, you will not have this because it's a it's a plugin I have installed myself. Later on in the video, I'll show you how you can do that. All right. So now these tabs um, generally contain the tools you need for your um, your designing. Okay, or your um, yeah designing. Alright, so we have the home tab and insects. Now, each of them are categorized in terms of function, okay? So they are categorized in terms of function. But the home tab generally contains most of what you'll be needing, okay? Like the simple, simple stuff you'll be using, general stuff. Alright. Okay, so over here, at the right side, we have the panel, another panel here. This panel, um, it also contains quick, quick tools, okay? So quick tools, which are when you're working on something, you're looking for the bearing and distance between a point you can just use any of these tools to do that you can um you can add or remove some of these tools depending on what you want to have okay so it's, it's quite simple you can do that um this one allows you to be able to view your drawings in different perspectives okay i usually use this one to the extent so if you have a drawing that is so maybe you have different drawings or you have a drawing that is zoomed in or very zoomed out you can actually zoom it to its natural extent okay yeah as time goes on you see how best we use this one now these ones like i said they'll allow you to be able to zoom your de your design usually 3d design you can view 3d designs in various perspectives okay all right and um down here we have these so usually here we have mostly toggles okay and snaps yeah that's what we have here amongst other tools uh, and features now if you want to display your grid, for instance, you want to display your grid, you can display it here, all right? Well, depending on, depending on what you want what you want to see. Now, I want to show you this option here. It will allow you to customize this panel down here. Now, for instance, I want to display my coordinates. If I click on this, I'm going to have my coordinates being shown here, all right? Yeah, there are other things you can add. You can add more of this stuff, depending on what you want to see. Okay, then over here, we have the command line. Right. The command line allows you to be able to search for stuff. For instance, something you would have something that would have taken you a long time to find. The command line would just allow you to simply search for it. Okay, so if I search for the line two and press enter, my cursor automatically automatically changes to the line two, then I'll be able to use it. Okay. So it's it's not as complicated as you might think. Um what else? We have the prospector tool. Now this one serves like the table of contents. Okay, so something like that. All points will be displayed here. Okay. Now if you have created point groups, I'm sure as we go on, we get to understand what all those represent. So, so all points are put in points, all surfaces and surfaces, all sides and sides. So that's what it means. Yeah, it's, it serves like a table of contents and it allows you to be able to um, um, uh, easily locate um, your your features or your imported points. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, one more thing I want to show you before I end this video is if you want to change um, anything about the operation of your AutoCAD, you can do it here. So if you come to the, if you come to File and then you go to Options here, here you will have the options to edit your AutoCAD the operation. So for instance, um, if I want to change the display, you can change it from I'm using dark mode, so you can change it to a lighter theme or something. 
you can change the code, uh, what's the name, the units, you can change um, a lot of stuff. You can, you, you can actually go through it, feel free to go through it and then um, and see what you want to change in it. Okay. Alright, so this is basically AutoCAD Civil 3D. I hope you follow the coming videos. Um, we're tweeting more about some of these tools and how to use them. In the upcoming videos, I'll be talking to you about the draw tools. Okay, so we'll be using more of these tools. I'll just introduce you to them and how you can use them to make your designs. Okay, all right, so I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Bye.